you close to me to your existence fill my head with some crap baby fill my brain with some ecstasy i'm sick of daydreaming i just want the feeling of you in my bed Alright guys, so I'm back playing some more Pixelmon, and today I have a few things that I'm going to need to do. Uh, first, I'm going to need to make a smeltery because we just make so much better stuff. So I'm going to have to start making some Groot and whatnot because a smeltery isn't too, too difficult. But if you're at all new to my channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button. It's greatly appreciated. Also, make sure to hit that little bell next to it to get notified whenever I upload a new video. And also... Let's try and get to, let's say, like, five, maybe seven likes on this video. Greatly appreciate it. Tells me how much you guys want to see more of these videos. The seared brick you need to make the meltery and whatnot, and the seared brick's super easy to make. You just gotta make some grout, cook that. Just gotta get a bunch of sand and whatnot. So I'm gonna go get a bunch of seared brick and whatnot, so then I can start building the smeltery outside. But first, before we get to that, I have a bunch of eggs to hatch, so I'm going to quickly hatch these eggs. So first egg, C, level 23 Hitmonchan, level one Crocorock. What is this? Lapras, 41, 39 Aerodactyl, level one Rhyhorn, Pig Knight, Machoke. Oddish, Poliwag, Ghastly, Lickitung, Magnemite, Magnemite, Shelter, Ratatat, and Porygon, and Grimer. So we just got a bunch of Pokemon here now, guys. So I got all these Pokemon now. And I also got a Dratini, level 49. Yeah, I think I'm gonna quickly choose a team, like a Pokemon team and whatnot real quick. Because today I have a couple things I want to do. First, I want to try and build the smeltery, of course. Then I want to try and find a village and evolve my Magikarp into a Gyarados, which won't be too difficult. We just gotta level it up once. Alright, so I got my team, so now I'm gonna quickly go run around, get some some of the stuff that I need for Grout, and try and level Magikarp up. So. I'll see you either when I have enough grout or Magikarp evolves. And Magikarp is now evolving. Magikarp is evolving, thankfully. Come on, get big and strong, my big boy. <clears throat> Become a massive Gyarados. There you go. Waterfall and bite. I can mount him, right? There we go. Go, Gyarados. We're going. Alright, I'm gonna go into this area here. Just to just go into this here, fix my inventory. So it'll go there, painted, whatever. Get this real quick. And now that we have the Gyarados, I'm gonna try and find some more clay, because I haven't been able to find any so far. So that's another thing. Gyarados. Is 
this. Oh uh, shit, that's what I was trying to do. Oh, uh, and I just died. Found a Pokeball chest though. An ice shield. Back on the Gyarados. I think that's clear right there. Is it? Please don't be Marvel, please don't be Marvel. Yes, it's clay, finally. I need a bunch of gravel and sand. So we got all that. Now I think that should maybe be enough. We'll send a Gyarados. And then I'll skedaddle. Let's fill my journey map real quick too. Get rid of this death marker. Uh, hello? Please don't have crashed on me. Oh, it just crashed on me. If any of you know what this is, leave in the comments down below, because I'm curious on what this thing is. Alright, so I'm back now to my Pokemon. Now that my game's not crashed anymore. Alright, so now I'm gonna make a bunch of Groot. So let's go here. And let's just make a bunch of it. So we got as much Groot as possible that I can get for now. Let's throw it up there. Now that I'm making some seared bricks, I'm gonna quickly let that smelt. So I'll be right back once that is ready. Alright, so now that I got some seared brick and whatnot, I'm gonna quickly show you guys the crafting recipe for the seared brick. It's super easy, just four seared brick and there you go. So I'm gonna quickly start building the uh, actual part of it around here, is what I'm kind of thinking. It won't be a big one or anything, so I'll just make it a quick nice and round. I'm also gonna have to make a seared tank the drain and also the controller so i'm gonna have to quickly make all of those so i'll be back once i have this uh, all set up and everything so i'll see you guys then so i literally had everything set up and then i forgot to make a controller so i'm gonna quickly make a smelter controller so i have it somewhat built out over here it's not the biggest thing or whatever but it'll it'll work so I'm gonna quickly put this here. And now it should work, right? So I go like this, maybe? I'll be right back while I figure out how to make this thing work. There we go, so I figured it out. I just had to put these things like this, I guess. So now everything is running as it should. So now I'm just going to quickly build, uh, put the rest of this stuff on and build the rest of this so I can start actually smelting. So I'll be right back guys. Alright, so I'm going to start making a casting table. There we go. Casting table. Now I think I'm also going to make a casting basin as well. So now that that is done, we can go put them in front of this one drain. Put this there, that there. And now I'm gonna go, go get my bucket and I'm gonna go find some lava so I can fill this smeltery up. So I'll be right back once I go find that lava with the smeltery and making some actual good weapons and materials. So I'm gonna quickly put that in there. If I recall correctly, no. And this, how do I totem? So I'm gonna figure out how to work this thing. So I'll be back again, I guess. <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna start making some castings or whatnot. So I'm gonna grab all my gold. I can start making some castings and hopefully eventually make some better tools and everything. So I don't know where my bucket of lava went. So I'm gonna have to quickly go get another one of those but first I'm gonna quickly expand this so then it doesn't so then I can carry more stuff 
Alright, well, I'll be back once I figure out how to fuel this smeltery. Alright, there we go. So I got some more lava. There we go. Put it in the sear gauge. And now stuff's going. Now once that stuff melts, then I can start making some of these uh, casts. So then I can start making better kind of weapons and everything like that. Alright, well, I'm gonna quickly figure some more stuff out before I mess with anything. Oh my gosh, what is that thing? You wanna know what? I think I'm gonna fight it. Boss Gengar. About to get wrecked by level 18 Pidgeotto. Oh, he wants to fight. Oh, he wants to fight this guy, Leech Seed. And he one shot me. Cool. Kadabra. You're faster, use confusion. Never mind. Charmeleon, Ember. Okay, well. This is just stupid now. Bite. Oh, the only one who could survive a single attack. Waterfall. No, nah, he's out now. Pidgeotto, tackle him, I guess. Not gonna do anything. Pidgeotto's now confused. Oh, that's great. Hurt itself in confusion. Snap out of confusion. Oh, right. I can't even do anything against this guy. A whirlwind. Doesn't affect Gengar. What am I supposed to do then? Like, we literally can't hit each other now. So this is just gonna go on until I can't... I might be able to get him out. Oh, Pidgeotto's out. That's okay. Um, hello? I should have another Pokemon. I think I have Charmeleon left. Uh, I think... Gengar, what did you just do to my last Pokemon? I'm gonna end the video here, guys. I'm gonna figure the smeltery out a bit uh, in between episodes and whatnot, so... I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like, comment down below if you want to see some more Pixelmon. And also comment down below if you want to see a Pixelmon uh, series of me and my friend Omen. We've been tempted to make one for you guys. So if you guys want to see that, make sure to hit that like button. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It's greatly appreciated. Also, hit the little bell to get notified whenever I upload a new video. But... I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'll see you guys next week.